this is literally good girl on a budget hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is bella and this is bella's perfume diaries if this is your first time of stumbling on this channel perfume diaries is a series where we'll talk about perfumes a sprinkle of beauty and lifestyle so if this is the kind of content you like please click that subscribe button and join the family and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back thank you for tuning in once again on today's episode i'm going to be talking about arabian perfumes that smell like designer perfumes i don't know if it was the intention of these arabian companies to make fragrances that smell like designer fragrances so i have a few in my collection that i would love to share with you if you have more arabian fragrances that smell like designer fragrances that you have tried please let me know in the comment section and hook a girl up so without wasting much time let's jump right into the video the first one i'll be talking about is bint huran hmm. Before I got this fragrance, I've been hearing so many people compare this fragrance to a designer perfume So I decided to try it out for myself and I'll describe this fragrance as a sweet almond tuberose fragrance It's like a sexy girl dream fragrance I love this bottle, I love the bow concept It just makes you know that this is going to be a very girly fragrance And that is exactly what this fragrance is If you did not know already, this fragrance is duping good girl by Karina Herrera I would say that this fragrance is like 98% similar to good girl by Karina Herrera this is literally good girl on a budget I think this fragrance go, goes for like 8,000 or 10,000 and good girl goes for like 60 ish upwards I think this perfume lasts for let's say eight hours which is a fair deal if we are being honest so this is Bint Huran a dupe for good girl by Karina Herrera the next one I'll be talking about, which I recently talked about on my channel, is Nebras by Latafa. This is their Pride collection. They just recently released this collection and the fragrances in this collection are a hit. So this is a vanilla dominant fragrance. But then the mixture of that red berries and rose, like more like a realistic rose, just gives it this uniqueness. So the vanilla basically coats and envelopes the rose and the red berries in this fragrance it's such a beautiful sexy fragrance guess what this fragrance is duping this fragrance is duping the famous eilish by billy eilish is the bottle of this perfume for me this eilish goes for like i think 80 85k while this one goes for like you know 13 15 k ish that's how much you get this so if you want to know what eilish smells like before committing to getting a full bottle get your hands on nebras by latafa i would say this fragrance is like 95 percent similar to this it's a fair deal to be honest and longevity on this this perfume lasts for minimum of 12 hours so that is nebras by latafa a dupe for eilish by billy eilish the next one i'll be talking about which i'm sure a lot of people should know this already which is Anna Abia Rouge by Latafa. I've heard a lot of people talk about this fragrance. I actually tried the um, OG Anna Abiad because it has, I think it comes in three the um, Anna Abiad OG, Anna Abiad um, Nude, or something like that, and then the Anna Abiad Rouge. I have tried the Anna Abiad, the OG. That one smells like Eba Pura, kind of. And I decided to try my hands on this. This is literally a saffron bomb. It's like a sweet, sexy, intoxicating, unisex fragrance. This perfume is would be sexy on, on a man or a woman. The perfume that this fragrance is duping is Baccarat Rouge 540. Like, this perfume smells spot on like Baccarat Rouge 540. There are a million and one dupes for Baccarat Rouge 540, but this is one of the ones that I would recommend. If people are still very obsessed with Baccarat Rouge 540, I could do like a dupe range of all the um, best dupes for Baccarat Rouge 540. So if you want to know what Baccarat Rouge 540 smells like, you can start with this one, get Anna Abiad Rouge by latafa it's an amazing dupe and i think longevity too is not bad i think longevity should be like 12 to 14 hours for this fragrance it's such an amazing alternative to baccarat rouge 540 so that is anna abiad rouge by latafa 
a dupe for Baccarat Rouge 540. The next one I'll be talking about is Kismet for Men by Mason Alhambra. I talked about this one when I was doing um, Arabian fragrances that don't smell Arabian. This perfume is a green, sexy, powdery, sweet fragrance. And to think that this fragrance is actually for men, but it smells like a feminine designer perfume. This perfume smells very similar to Decadence by Marc Jacobs, like literally. But if you are an OG on this channel, you know that I'm not really a crazy fan of Decadence by Marc Jacobs. So I got myself a 50ml because I noticed that this perfume gives it adds uniqueness if you pair it with other fragrances so i mixed this fragrance literally with any fragrance that has a um, common scent profile that i still love so that's what this perfume literally is for but i love this more i prefer this more than this because i feel this fragrance is too screechy for me but there's there's this powderiness in this one that coats that screechiness and doesn't make it as screechy as the of decadence but i would say this perfume is like 80 percent similar to decadence also i've heard a lot of people say that this perfume smells similar to tuxedo by ysl their private uh, collection which i haven't tried so i can't confirm that and also another perfume from i think Givenchy. i'm not sure i'm going to put the picture up here so if you love those fragrances and you want to know what they smell like you can get Kismet for Men by Mason Alhambra. The next one I'll be talking about is Soft by Al Rehab. This perfume is a sweet lemon cake, literally. This perfume is small but mighty and it is very affordable. The price for this should be like 5000 or 6000 And it is such a beautiful, sexy date night fragrance. Guess what this fragrance is duping? This perfume is duping lira by zerjov when i smelled this immediately i thought about lira because i got lira first and i've had lira for a while i'll say this fragrance is like 80 percent similar to lira i've seen a lot of people comparing this fragrance to pink sugar by aqualina i have tested both out they have similarities but this one smells more like lira than pink sugar it has that sugary quality that pink sugar has but then this dries down into like a lemon cake, which pink sugar doesn't have that lemon in it. So I think that's what just differentiates both of them. I actually have pink sugar in my collection and I did the comparison when I think a subscriber mentioned that to me in the comments. I tested both out. This has similarities with pink sugar, but it smells more like this. I really love this. I usually wear it at night before I go to bed and it just makes me feel like a sweet girl. Who wouldn't want to smell like a sweet girl i really love this lira and obviously lira is very expensive i will not be spraying lira to go and sleep so when i just saw that this was exactly like lira i just started going crazy on this one and i'm going to get more of it because i use it to sleep while this one i wear it on special occasions date nights you know that kind of vibe so if you want to know what lira smells like Get your hands on Soft by Al Rehab. Another one I'll be talking about is Tower Gold by Latafa. So this perfume was just recently released. It's also among the Pride collection. This perfume smells like a fresh lavender vanilla scent. And guess who does best with vanilla and lavender? You guessed right. YSL Libre. This perfume smells 70% similar to YSL Libre. I think it's 70% similar to YSL Libre because when you spray it at first, you get that YSL Libre vibes. But in between, I start to get Naxos by Zerjov vibes. Naxos by Zerjov is also a lavender vanilla bomb, but that one feels more like a soapy, like an expensive soap, while this one is more sexy. So when you spray this fragrance at first, you get YSL Libre, then you start getting the Naxos DNA, both DNAs just mix it together. But for, for somebody that would not really take their time to, you know, compare both, they would straight up say that it is a do for YSL Libre. So if you want to know what YSL Libre smells like, Tower Gold is like 70% similar to YSL Libre. Also, I have another Arabian dupe that I mentioned when I was talking about um, Arabian fragrances that don't smell Arabian. Al Karam. 
I had it in my collection, but I decluttered it because it's a do for YSL Libre Intense. I have YSL Libre Intense. I have Golden Decade by Zara. So I didn't see the need to have another YSL Libre dupe. So I decluttered it, but it's a very good dupe. I, I used it for a while and tested it and really loved it. It's a very good dupe for YSL Libre Intense. This one smells more similar to the YSL Libre while that Alcaram smells similar to YSL Libre Intense. So if you want to know what YSL Libre Intense smells like, get your hands on Alcaram. I'm going to put the picture of it up here so you can, you know, check it out for yourself. Another one I'll be mentioning, this one is going to cause a lot of trouble on my comment section. A lot of hot takes left, right, center because I have mentioned this perfume before on my channel. I think the first Arabian video that I did and mentioned this perfume this is Andalip by the House of Latafa. This is literally a sweet tooth fragrance. This perfume is very sweet. If you love sweet fragrances, you would love this. It has this fruitiness, this brightness that almost seems like a fruit punch. But it is overall a very beautiful, sweet, sexy fragrance. I mentioned in that video that this perfume smells similar to Scandal by John Paul Gautier people were literally fighting in my comment section you guys stick to your opinions I will stick to my opinions to me I feel that this fragrance might not be 100% similar to Scandal but it gives you the same vibes with Scandal like Scandal is a sweet honey fragrance this too is a sweet fruity fragrance. Fragrance is like 60% similar to Scandal by John Paul Gautier. The same sweetness you get in Scandal is the same sweetness you get in Underleaf. I don't know if it was intentional for them to remake this fragrance because the bottles are literally very similar. Even the cap too. It is obvious that these people were probably trying to mimic this fragrance and I think there are similarities in them. If you want to know what Scandal smells like, try Underleaf by Latafa. If you love sweet fragrances, if you don't even mind scandal and you just want something sexy, sweet and girly, get your hands on Underleaf by Latafa. Next one I'll be mentioning which is Crystal Rose by Swiss Arabian. I love this perfume because of the bottle. Beautiful bottle, comes in this love shape and this diamond cap. It's so pretty, it looks very girly. When I got this fragrance, I didn't even think that this fragrance was going to be duping one of the most popular Masera fragrances, which is Rose's Vanille. This perfume smells very similar to Rose's Vanille. This fragrance is literally a rose and vanilla combination. It's such a beautiful, sexy, date night fragrance. If you are looking for something that smells like Rose's Vanille by Mantera, get Crystal Rose by Swiss Arabia. Another one I'll be talking about, this one I haven't tested it out, but a lot of people say this fragrance is a dupe for a Zerjo fragrance, which is Ragba by Latafa. I think this is from Latafa. I really really love this perfume and I love the fact that this is really affordable. This is like a vanilla wood combo. You get more of the vanilla, the caramel and a little bit of sweet wood. People say that they get incense in this fragrance. I truly don't get incense in this fragrance. But this fragrance is said to smell very similar to Ideal Bouquet by Zerjov. I wanted to get Ideal Bouquet but when I heard it smells like Ragba, I just decided to step back a little because I, I don't like to have two fragrances that smell alike. I said maybe I'm just obsessed about that fragrance, but I don't think I'm obsessed about this fragrance. I, I love it, but I'm not obsessed about it. If you haven't gotten your hands on Rack Bar, you need to get your hands. If you are the kind of person that loves, you know, thick, sexy, vanilla, caramel, wood fragrances. It's such a beautiful fragrance. The wood in it is not like a skanky wood. It's just perfect. So that is Rakba by Latafa. Said to be a dupe for Ideal Bouquet by Zerjo. Last one I'll be talking about. This one, a lot of people said it's a dupe for one of my favorite fragrances. And I tested it out and I really don't see any similarities. But I just thought to mention it regardless. Opulent Red by the House of Latafa. This fragrance smells like a spicy um, tuberose fragrance. It is said to smell like Amani Privé Rouge Malachite. It has that spicy tuberose that Amani Privé has, but I feel that Amani Privé has this sweetness that this one doesn't have. This one has something. 
more like paper smell i don't even know how to explain it but it has that thing in it that this one doesn't have and this one has sweetness that this one doesn't have so i don't think they are dupes it's an amazing scent regardless so that is opulent red by latte i'll be adding this as my honorable mention the last one which is musuf wadi the pink musuf immediately reminded me of one of my favorite perfumes which is angel nova by terra mugla this perfume is something that everybody needs to have in their collection so that is Musuf Wadi, the pink Musuf. An alternative to Angel Nova by Terry Mugla. Have you tried any of these fragrances that I have mentioned? Let me know what you think about them. If you think they are dupes for these fragrances that I mentioned. If you have more um, Arabian fragrances that are dupes for designer or high-end fragrances, let me know in the comment section. I have done a couple of dupe videos. I'm going to put the playlist down below so you can go ahead and you know scroll through them and find your favorite fragrances and you know get them if you're not able to get the actual fragrances unfortunately we've come to the end of this episode don't forget to like this video subscribe to this channel subscribe to this channel i just recently checked that half of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed to my channel why you keep coming back to watch my videos but you are not subscribed that's not fair you need to click that subscribe button now you can't be watching my videos and not subscribe come on just subscribe it doesn't take anything subscribe and turn on post notifications i'm sure you, you enjoy my content and you're going to enjoy even more i really appreciate if you're a newbie drop a comment in the comment section i have something special for you thank you guys for tuning to bella's perfume diaries i'll be seeing you on my next episode bye